Hello and welcome. This is Dawn. So glad you could join me for another video. Today I decided to make a little gift box. You can use it for a Halloween tree, a gift card holder, or anything else you may like. I know in my kids' school, candy is no longer allowed, so this little box is good to put other things in it. I'm going to put a lip balm in it and actually make it a party favor for my daughter's birthday that's coming up, and it's Halloween themed. It doesn't have to be Halloween themed. You can use any type of paper that you want, Christmas, birthday, or even Valentine's Day. I'm using the Whimsy Stamps Vintage Halloween Paper Pack. I'm using this pumpkin one, but you will need two of the same paper, but I forgot to order more of the paper pack, so I didn't have two of the same paper because I use it so much, but that's okay. I'm picking the pumpkin, and then I'm going to use this polka dot one right here. And I already cut this out. I had to remake the box because I actually screwed up because I wasn't paying attention to how I was cutting out my paper with the die. So the polka dot paper is going to be my backside. I'm using the Whimsy Stamp Slimline Scallop Pocket Die. It's a three-piece die set. I'm only using the actual pocket die for this project, but you could use the other dies if you wanted to decorate the pocket with different pattern paper or butterflies. I want to show you how you need to cut this die on the paper so you can have a front and a back. Since I already cut this out, this is going to be my back. You would put the die directly on the pattern side of the paper. Then for your front, I want to show you what not to do. If you put the die on the pattern side of the paper, you'll get two cut cutouts that are exactly the same and that's not what you want because when you try to line them up they won't match up because they're the exact same cutout. So what you need to do is you need a reverse of one of them. You'll need to put the die on the white side of the pattern paper and then die cut it out. This will give you a front and back that will line up. Just put the die like this on the white side of the paper and then run it through your die cut machine. Now that I have my two pieces that fit together nicely to make my little box, I'm going to burnish all three sides of both of the papers so that they will fit together when I make the box. Now to adhere these sides together, you can use liquid glue like I am, or you can use score tape or any other double-sided tape that you have. If you use the glue, you will have to hold it in place for about 30 seconds or so to give it some time to dry, depending on what glue you're using. Make sure to put the adhesive on the paper that's going to be your back side of the box so that the paper you used for the front of the box is showing on the sides. If you're using the same paper, it won't really matter that much. And there you have it. Look how quick and easy it was to make this box. It literally took me five minutes to put the box together and it's super cute. It would take you not no time at all like to make a whole bunch of these to use for party favors. Now I'm just going to punch a hole through the top of it with my hole puncher so that I can tie a ribbon through it. I'm going to make the tag next for the bag. I'm using the bookmark and tag die set. I decided to have two tags hanging off of the bag, one bigger than the other. I'm going to cut the bigger tag from some orange cardstock and the smaller one from some black cardstock. I want to heat emboss my sentiment onto the black tag. I'm using the Whimsy Stamps Trick or Treat House Stamp Set and I'm going to use the Trick or Treat Sentiment. I am using my Misty Stamping Tool to stamp the sentiment. You could use an acrylic block if you want to. It might actually be easier. Most of the time I don't have to double stamp when I'm using my Versamark ink. I rub my paper with my embossing powder bag and then I stamp it with my Versamark ink. I pour gold embossing powder on it, and when my heat tool is good and hot, I heat emboss the sentiment. And to finish off the box, I get some black ribbon, and I put it through both of the tags with the orange in the back for some color. And then I put it through the holes I punched on the gift box, I used black ribbon. I did want to use a sheer ribbon, but I didn't have any. 
I don't have any orange ribbon either. You can actually get a thinner ribbon and use a black and an orange if you want to. Now with the scrap paper that is left over, I'm going to decorate a lip balm. I'm gonna cut the scrap paper to two and a quarter inches by one and 14 uh, and 16 inches. I put a half inch wide score tape on both ends of the paper. This is what will adhere the paper to the lip balm. And I make sure to cut it off with scissors instead of tearing it so it has a nice even edge and none of it hangs over the edge of the paper. And your paper will look like this, a tiny rectangle. And the back side has the score tape on both ends of it. This is the lip balm I bought. I got a pack of like 50 of them. I bought white ones, but you could use any lip balms you want because we're just gonna cover it up with paper anyway. I take the score tape off of one end and I adhere it to the lip balm. And then I wrap the paper around the lip balm and then take the release paper off of the score tape and I adhere it down in place. And there you have it. It's so simple to decorate any lip balm. I chose to go with the polka dot pattern paper, but you could use the pumpkin one also. It's a great way to use up the excess pattern paper, uh, scrap paper from the die cut. Look at how nice it fits in the little pocket box we made. You even have room for some small candy if you want to add that. I tied a bow with the ribbon and that's it. This project was so quick and easy to make. I think the whole thing took me 15 minutes from start to finish. Like I said, it's a great gift box to make for your young kids to take to school, to give to the other kids, or to give the teacher a gift card, or you could put some stickers or Halloween toys in there if you wanted. The possibilities are endless, actually. And look, when you tip it upside down, the lip balm doesn't even fall out. It just sits in there really nice. And that's going to complete my project for today. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the gift box. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content coming out. As always, I want to thank you for spending your time with me and I hope you have a wonderful day.